Come back, we're going to talk about the aftermath of a rainy camp out. Well, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. Well, the aftermath of a rainy camp out. Canopy drying. That's part of it. Like I said, inside the tent never got wet during the weekend, but stuff around it did. Yep, there's pieces of tent everywhere drying and the main body's up just air out. Okay, so the other part of the aftermath of a camping trip, especially if it's been a wet one, I'm having to dry out this tub that was actually under the dining fly and in the back of the truck but all the moisture and everything that accompanied the rain got into that now also what i will do is take all my pots and pans and stuff that i used and i will take all this in the house and wash it in the house real good before i put it back up um, but i'm also going to take my fuel canisters that I have that I use this weekend we're going to take them and weigh them here in just a minute with the Coleman uh, gas ball thing and see where we're at with the fuel and how much fuel we use this weekend this one feels like it's still quite a bit in it but I know one of these was almost completely empty I think it was this one um, I think it only read three quarters and I used this one quite a bit and used this one quite a bit too so We'll weigh them and see how close that thing really is. So stand by. Okay, so now we're gonna take our handy dandy Coleman fuel canister weigher. We're gonna slip on this first one. I think it's probably about empty. And that's what it shows. It's a quarter, quarter of a tank in that one. Get the next one, slide in on, pick it up. And that's showing between three quarters and a half. Oops, three quarters and a half the tank. So, actually, it's kind of stabilizing out to a half a tank in that. And that feels about right. So, let me go back and weigh this one again and see what it comes up. Yeah, it's showing about a quarter of a tank. So, if this is true, I mean, that, that's pretty cool. So, I know how much fuel is left in it. I know I can probably use these. Probably get another use or two out of them. So, they'll stay in the truck and uh, go to the next trip. Because I keep, I've got two brand new ones in there. So, I'll keep these and I'll use these up. Then we'll go to the new ones when I need them. But, uh, yeah. Didn't use them up, not yet. So I'll back in just a minute. All right, so everything's been out drying for a good little bit. Uh, dishes are washed from the weekend, everything. This is pretty well dry. Yep, it's dry to the touch. We're gonna do some waterproofing on this if we can't improve that. Um, I just never would imagine this thing leaking like it did, but it did. Tent did great tent did great i can say the waterproofing worked on it because i never got the first drop of water in it except for when i was coming in and out of it but even then it was just a little bit on the floor so anyway even my chair was soaking wet still but that was where a lot of the, the water the moisture that was in the back of the truck from the tailgate being down and then of course putting all the wet stuff in there but it's pretty well dried out. This is pretty well dried out. I'm going to um, put lid on this for now. When everything's dry inside the house, I'll put it all back together. But anyway, then I'll pull my lights out of my other box. We'll top them off charge-wise. Um, I'll let this air dry out. Yeah, it's just about completely dried out. But even the tent bag, we turned it wrong side out so it's dry completely. The tent's probably, it's probably dry. So I'm gonna take my broom, 
brush off the uh, ground sheet for it and that'll be it we'll be ready for the next camping trip which probably be in about well may or you happen time you see this video <laughs> so that's just part of it you deal with it and you go on like i said uh gonna charge lights get them topped off and be ready to go for the next one and we're good to go i've already taken the sleeping bag out of the truck depends on what the weather will be like for the next trip which bag i take I always keep um one of the poncho liners in my truck in this bag i use that um i always keep an extra tarp i think i got two extra tarps in my truck in case i need them but uh yeah in the trash can i use the trash can that's in the truck now right there just holds a little kroger bag or shopping bag and i use that to put my trash in and once i was done eating and everything I would throw that in the bear dumpster and put a new bag in and ready to go again so all right guys so all of my stuff that I got um, for this trip that's part of my new systems and stuff works great so no complaints there um, the only complaint is that big blue monster right there where is it there it is we're gonna work on waterproofing that thing because it shouldn't have leaked like it did. But that's no problem. We can do and go. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one. Be prepared.